Good morning, good morning. I am back with the Joyful Business Planning Show. So glad you're here. Um, whether you're here live or whether you are watching this later on the replay, I'm glad you're here. For two weeks, I've been talking about all things Joyful Business Planning. So this show is all about how to capitalize on this time of year when your energy is starting to get excited about the new year because the new year brings in fresh possibilities. We can't help but have some fresh energy and feel like there's more potential with a clean slate of a new calendar. And so it's a natural time where you want to start planning the new year. And, you know, it doesn't have to be this boring business plan. Um, actually, I, I love planning. <laughs> I came from a long line of planning. <clears throat> Hold on, my cat's coming over and she's going to knock everything over <laughs> with all her love. Um, Got to love that um, <clears throat> until we don't. <laughs> don't knock over my computer. And um, <laughs> sorry, it's very distracting sometimes, mostly because she was going to knock everything over, all my notes right into the floor, all the things I want to share with you. So joyful business planning is about making planning fun, making it creative, um, but also making it so that it's really useful. Um, we want your business plan to be useful so that you use your business plan throughout the entire year. So that's what we're talking about this morning. Hey, Brenda, welcome. So glad you're back. I think you've been our loyalist, faithful fan over the last two weeks. I so appreciate you joining in in the morning. Um, so today we're going to be talking about your beacon marketing strategy. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are like, what is that? So I'm going to tell you what that is and why it's so important and why you want to include that in your business plan. Now, if you have any, <laughs> I'm so glad you love these, Brenda. I appreciate the feedback. Um, sometimes it's just me and my cat talking and you kind of wonder who's out there. <laughs> That's how Facebook Live can be sometimes. Um, if you have any, anybody have any questions, please put questions down in the comments or send them to me. I'm happy to answer them. I'm gonna to continue to do the show through Friday, um, the December 21st. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, and of course, if you hear something that you love, please make comments. Please send the love, the likes, the hearts. Um, we always love to um, see that. So, um, so glad some of you are joining us this morning. All right. Let me look at what we're going to talk about next. Just want to review a little bit if you've missed some of the other videos. Um, we've talked about over the last week and a half, I've talked about um, thank you for the love. <laughs> We've talked about the difference between pl a plan and a planner, and there are some differences there. Um, we talked about the myths of planning, that planning doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be this official document that somebody in the bank blessed. <laughs> you know, That's not what we're using it for. That's not what we need it for. We also talked about uh, daily action plans, which is part of the planner. We've talked about your current marketing strategies brainstorming marketing strategies, um, just all sorts of things. Your mag yesterday was your magnetic specialty niche, and today we're going to be talking about your beacon marketing strategy. All of these are things that I talk about in the Joyful Business Plan. And so just if you want a sneak peek of the Joyful Business Plan, you're going to get a little bit today, and then you can get more online at joyfulbusinessplan.com. And um, it's a cool... Uh, let me just show you instead of talking about it. This is what it looks like, your business, joyful business planning system. I'm just going to give you a little peek, and then we're going to go into beacon marketing strategies. Um, you get to customize it. So the joyful business plan is totally printable. You create your own um, plan with this, and it's, um, I love it because you can put it into any kind of notebook. If you want to three-hole punch it, you can. For those of you who know me, I just love these disc notebooks that you can get on Amazon or, tar or um, Staples or <laughs> Staples or uh, Office Max. Um, and of course, you can go to Levenger.com. They have beautiful ones. I was just looking at the catalog this morning. They have some beautiful covers. Um, so I have a cover, and I put my business plan in here. And as you can see, just kind of a glimpse here, there's all sorts of creative tools that you'll use in your creative business, in your joyful business plan. With the joyful business plan, not only do you get these um, tools or these play sheets, I call them, 
but you get mini training videos. So each one of these has a little 10 minute tutorial video that gives you ideas for how to fill it out so that you're not sitting there wondering, great, I've got this great planner, now what do I do? <laughs> we give you ideas for you know, how to start your celebrations for the year and how to fill that out and capture what do you want to put on your year in ritual of celebrations and things like that. So um, it's just an incredible, I, you know, I have, I, I, I can say it's incredible because I'm excited. I created, I like to create what I would like. <laughs> so I created uh, a planner like I would like to use it. So I like to be able to uh, pull out one of the sheets and say, okay, I want to put this on my desk or I want to put it into a different planner or maybe I want to, you know, pull it out and put it into a notebook. There you can see Lucky Kitty. She's going, she's going to be on the video today, one way or another. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about the Joyful Business Plan. Um, just a little note, we do have it on sale, the Super Saver sale, until this Friday, the 21st. So you can get it just for $97 with all the training, and you get a virtual planning day in January. Okay, so that's my plug if you want to go get this um, for yourself. Today we're going to be talking about, let's see if I can get this so you can see it, Beacon Marketing Strategy. You can't quite see, you can see, kind of see all the little places to fill out here. So what is a beacon marketing strategy? This is what I teach my private clients and what I teach in my membership program, the Joyful Business Studio. The, um, what I've noticed is that most of my clients, people in my community, they are really, really good at what they do. They're really passionate. They're experts in their, um, in their work, um, but they don't want to be a full-time marketing person. That's not necessarily what they wanna be doing. And so, um, you know, because being a full-time marketing person means you know about everything, right? You know about all the different marketing strategies. That's a whole different kind of job. I have a marketing background and that exhausts me <laughs> to try to know that. What I also know is a lot of you are creative and you get pulled by all these different ideas, right? All the squirrels. Squirrel, I gotta do that idea. Squirrel, let me do Facebook ads. Squirrel, I should be doing video on Instagram. Um, you know, and what happens is you end up doing, you end up scattering your energy. And I always like to say scattered energy, you get scattered results. Focused energy gets focused results. So as a, um, to back that up, what I recommend is doing a beacon marketing strategy. And it is picking one marketing strategy that is kind of, it's going to be your beacon, right? It's going to be your lighthouse. It's going to be your shining star that is going to attract people to you and you're gonna send everybody to it. So what do I mean by that? Um, um, an example of a beacon marketing strategy is doing a Facebook Live show, okay? This is just a two week show. What I would recommend for a beacon marketing strategy is to do Facebook Lives on a regular basis. Maybe it's once a week, but you turn it into a show instead of randomly doing Facebook Live videos. So those can be nice to have spontaneous videos, but actually having a show that you send people to, people sign up, people get the replays, they look forward to it, you have show notes, uh, you can repurpose it, and it becomes this uh, guiding beacon marketing strategy um, that really works for you. Um, you can do a podcast that way, you could do video, a video channel on Facebook, I mean on uh, YouTube, you could do something simple like weekly marketing tips. For six years, I sent out a Monday message. It was called um, Monday Miracle Marketing Message. And there was an audio and there was an article. And every Monday morning in their inbox, my, my community, everybody received that. And I still get comments every now and then that people loved receiving those messages and hearing my voice every Monday morning. That's a beacon marketing strategy. People can sign up for it. People know to look for it. Um, and then you can use that content everywhere. So what this does, two big things. One is it really becomes, um, you become known for it. People are like, hey, yeah, you got that show, right? Or, hey, you do those tips. Or, hey, you've got to, or they talk about you when you're in a group. Hey, you've got to go um, pick up Laura's tips. Those Monday Miracle Marketing messages are amazing. Um, or you need to go see her Facebook Live show. Um, people start talking about you and they help spread the word because your fans get really excited. They become raving fans. 
What it also does is it really sets you apart as a leader in your industry. So having a beacon marketing strategy, and actually I think I have an example of one filled out just so you can get an idea of like how we really use these sheets like that. Um, in, your, in your business plan, you would fill this out and say, okay, what is my show gonna be? How frequent is it? When is it gonna start? Like you actually commit to your, your plan for your beacon marketing show, beacon marketing strategy. Um, you also talk about what are your goals? Like you wanna think about what are your goals for your beacon marketing strategy? It's not just something like, oh, this would be fun. Yes, you want it to be fun because if it's fun, you're more likely to keep on doing it. That's one of the goals, uh, one of the criteria. But you also want to think about why am I doing this? Because that will also inform the format for how you do it. Um, mostly, you know, a lot of it, um, you want to get increased visibility. You also want to nurture relationships. Um, you want to get your message out there. And you want to do it in a way where you are personally you know, doing it in a way that really reflects your personal brand. Um, you may want to be um, connecting with colleagues, in which case you might want to do interviews. You might want to become more of a curator of content and have people um, that you're going to highlight in feature. Maybe you're going to highlight and feature your clients. Um, you might also want to highlight your own expertise. So you want to figure out, you know, which of those goals are important. You want to grow your list. Usually that's a yes. <laughs> you know, these are great for growing your list. It's also great for really, as I said, for talking about being a leader in your industry. People start paying attention. Even I know even people who haven't watched these Facebook live shows that I'm doing on joyful business planning, but they're noticing. I'm getting lots of comments uh, when I'm going to holiday parties and people are saying, oh, yeah, I know you're doing your show. I haven't had a chance to watch, but wow, you're doing it. There's value in that, right? There's value in because it's a perception about your brand, your commitment, your leadership. Um, and people will go back and listen and watch and things like that as well. Um, so, yeah, we've talked about different examples of your beacon marketing strategy. I teach this more thoroughly in the Joyful Business Studio. So you're, you can certainly check that out, joyfulbusinessstudio.com. That's my monthly membership program that makes it um, – where I talk about marketing and mindset. It's super easy to, um, super affordable, I should say, and it's easy <laughs> um, to come into the studio. We have this amazing community of like-minded entrepreneurs, uh, very purpose-driven, creative, but yet they also wanna make a difference um, in their pocketbooks <laughs> and their billfolds and also in people's lives. Um, one of the things we talk about is this beacon marketing strategy. In your joyful business plan, you can also brainstorm, like what would be the content ideas? All right, what kinds of things would you talk about because you're doing this consistent beacon marketing strategy? Um, and I actually refer to several different ways um, that I teach where you're pulling out your point of view, you're creating a manifesto, all of those things are things that you can pull from um, your marketing idea journal. That's included. Your marketing idea journal is included here in the Joyful Business Plan. Let me just see if I have an example of one. Um, I teach you how to collect ideas throughout the day um, of ideas in your marketing, for marketing. So when you're listening to clients, um, having, um, and you hear common problems, common situations, recommendations, tools that you make, you start tracking those every day this is great fodder for great content for your beacon marketing strategy. All right. So, and I can tell you that having a beacon marketing strategy, the people that I know who are doing it and when I've experienced it, when I've been doing it consistently, um, it makes a huge difference. People notice um, client, potential clients notice referral partners, notice other people notice they see you with this beacon marketing strategy and they say, hey, I, wanna, I want you on my show. I want to interview you on my podcast or on my Facebook Live. And um, so that energy begets more energy, right? It gets the flowmentum going in your marketing and you have more fun with it. It makes you more magnetic and you really do attract more opportunities and clients um, to you. All right. So we're going to wrap up for today. I hope you enjoyed talking about um, Beacon Marketing Strategy. If you want to go, um, 
get your Joyful Business Plan, you just go to joyfulbusinessplan.com. It is on sale through this Friday, the 21st of December. So you want to make sure you grab it. If you're really interested, just go ahead and get it because it's a really good deal. Um, again, we are doing a virtual planning day on January 11th that you can participate in. You get many training videos for every single one of these um, <laughs> of these worksheets. This one's the Daily Action Planner. I've talked about this in other, um, I think, a video last week. This is actually the one that I'm doing. This is my action planner for this week. This is what I use. Um, I write down what I'm going to do for the week, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I start putting things in for the week um, or for each day so that I know exactly what I'm doing. It's one of the things that I loved um, or that I really wanted in a planner was how to take a year plan where you're all excited and then break it down into what I do today. Um, and we're going to talk about that tomorrow. So a little sneak peek for tomorrow is we're going to talk about your yearly plans, yearly content planner. How do you break that down so that you know, okay, it's Wednesday morning. What am I supposed to do today? And how do I break that big picture down into bite-sized actions for today? So we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Hope to see you tomorrow. If you have any questions, just message me or put a message below. Um, Brenda here has a note saying uh, one of her challenges is organizing your thoughts. Yeah, I know you're such a highly creative person. Um, most of the people who have the Joyful Business Plan are highly creative. And what I say is that getting your, um, hold on, let me just pull, getting your thoughts out of your head and getting them onto paper is one of the best things. <laughs> and um, I was just going to show you, doo -doo. yeah, I, wanna, I have a couple of mind maps for that. Like just capturing your ideas so that you can then break them down into projects and um, break them down into smaller steps. Hey, Jeff, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the accolades there. Um, I think Beacon Marketing Strategy is a great idea, too. Um, so you can use this project planner, Brenda, and plan out your projects, or you use the other mind maps that just talk, um, hold on, I'm just going, 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 going to, yeah, you know, where you can brainstorm your ideas and capture your ideas and get them out of your head. Yeah, it's really, um, sometimes you just need a brainstorm and you just gotta do that brain dump to get it out of your head onto paper and then you can go to these focus first blocks and say, okay, which one am I going to do first? You know, you're still holding all those ideas. Those are all possibilities. Because I know when you're highly creative, it's the possibilities that get you so excited, right? <laughs> and it's like more possibilities, the better, until it hits that tipping point where it turns into overwhelm, right? And then you get nothing done. And I know this one. So I look for lots of ways to manage all those possibilities, keep that possibility energy up by holding on the ideas, but then, okay, which one am I gonna work on first? Which one, you know, either first, second, third, or I'm gonna work on this one first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and you start making a plan that way. Um, you gotta get them out of your head, because otherwise they're all just kind of competing for um, attention, <laughs> and so, and they get really nasty in there, right? They just start beating each other up, and then you don't do anything. So getting them out onto paper. Um, this is great for that. So I highly encourage you to do that. Um, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna talk about um, the yearly, how to do the big yearly big project, and then how to break it down so that you know what to do today when you wake up and you start working on your business. All right, please go over and check it out at joyfulbusinessplan.com. And also one last little plug is if this fits your market, like you feel like your people in your community would love to know more about a joyful business plan, you can certainly sign up to be an affiliate. I know Brenda, you have done that. Thank you for that. And um, you can share these Facebook lives with your peeps and you can make some money over the holidays for it or at the beginning of the year as well. All right, thanks everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye.